I was supposed to work online at the moment, but the universe decided that the internet is out. And that's kind of the reason why I'm doing this video now, because you can't really control the outcome of anything in life. The only thing you can do is to control your actions and what you do when there's an obstacle. And I think it's a really important tool to understand that you shouldn't try to force things into action or into happening, into existence. And it's something I've struggled with and I've had this idea that you need to make things happen. But usually when you try to do it like that, it doesn't flow in a way that it's really good and efficient. And the end product isn't really that good. So what I've started to do and what I'm learning to do is whenever there's resistance in something that I try to do, I ask myself, okay, what am I not seeing here? What is the other possibility that I could be doing now? Because if you start trusting that there's a plan for you, there's this divine energy or what you want to call it that is responsible for life itself. And if you trust that there's an inner guidance, that there's something that is greater than you and you start following that. And every time if there's a really big roadblock and you stop and you're like, hmm, why am I not supposed to do this? And when you start asking these questions and you stop, you might see something that you wouldn't have seen otherwise. And, and then later you're just like, oh, I'm so happy that thing came. And, and sometimes in life, there's like really big things happening. You might have a sudden breakup or there might be a sudden death or something like these grandiose things. But sometimes it might be just this tiny thing that the internet is gone and, and you're just kind of like, oh, I can't do what I was supposed to do. So what can I do instead? And I already feel like, oh, this is such a great topic for a video. And this video wouldn't have been done if the internet would have worked and uh, the trajectory of my life would have been something else. So the way I see obstacles at the moment, it's more of like, hmm, where could I go to kind of go around this obstacle and it's like okay maybe this isn't meant for me even if i think that i need it like i have to get it but there's probably a better thing waiting for you if you kind of just let go and be like yeah okay that it's not the right time at the moment and and you kind of start trusting this like perfect timing and if you believe and start believing in the idea that everything has this perfect timing and everything happens for a reason, life becomes magical. Because instead of seeing all the kind of obstacles and negative stops as something bad, you're like, hmm, interesting. What am I not seeing? What, what is the the better option then so and i think th this kind of gets you back into a excited and joyful state because you're like hmm i really thought that i needed to do this one thing i needed to go to this concert or i needed to eat this food but now the restaurant is closed or something and then you suddenly are guided towards something that you didn't even know something unexpected 
and miracles actually live in the unknown and if you're in control like I used to be I thought that I need to control and that probably stems from losing my father suddenly and 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 that kind of triggered this trauma to being like oh shit oh shit oh shit and and I need to control myself and and then my mom has been in a similar state and and this fear and control but once you let go of that control the fear goes away and possibilities opportunities excitement adventure that comes in and like that's what life's about right like if we can live a life that's full of opportunities adventures excitement joy that's it right we don't need anything else it's not like we need a lamborghini no it gets us excited it gets us joyful when we drive it or we go to this five-star restaurant it's like it gives us the feeling of yes this is exciting it's exclusive it's like this special thing but if you can get that th feeling in just ordinary things and ordinary life and especially when there's an obstacle if you can turn that obstacle into something positive you win every time and this is the 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 whole concept of you can choose your life in every moment and every second and once you start living like that it's more like okay i'll see where life takes me and then when there's resistance you're just like hmm maybe that's not for me let's look for another opportunity and then you're just kind of let that go and oh right this is better wow i didn't even think this is possible but now because i didn't force myself to this other thing i got effortlessly this other beautiful thing that i didn't even know i liked or was really good for me and this is the power of letting go the power of kind of losing control and be like whatever i trust the unknown and i struggled for so many years with this because my mind was so caught up in in the logical and the, the whole like this needs to make sense this needs to make sense and once i kind of allowed some magic some kind of this mysticism into my life it started happening and i i also read a study about luck and this was really interesting because they made a a controlled study with people and how they perceive luck and one of the study group was told to to not they weren't even told that it's about luck and the other group was told that you're supposed to think of yourself as lucky and everyone in the lucky group got lucky because they opened up themselves to the opportunity of luck and and luck what's luck it's it's something unexpected it's the adventure it's the excitement it's it's the whole thing that I've just talked about in this video. So every obstacle, every resistance can be turned into luck. There, there can be something really good and unexpected in the unknown. But if you don't let yourself to think and feel that the unknown might have the answers, you box yourself in. And I think there's a reason why the system and the whole society kind of wants to keep us boxed in. Because if everyone started to believe that they're lucky and they see possibilities and they see things that aren't rational and logical, the system would kind of crumble because the system 
and the society and the whole ruling thing is based on logic and that you need to keep on to this logical thing it's like if you let it go it's like you're gonna die but actually it's like this box is keeping you dead it's keeping you out of your own power your imagination your creativity your like endless being that you are you can create whatever you want but you've been conditioned to like you need to go to a nine to five job you need to do this you need to pay your bills pay your bills you need to uh, pay taxes it's just like what that's insanity what you actually need is like water some nutrients and air like you need to breathe and like the the basics for staying alive they are kind of forgotten and then it's like fed to you with this marketing and everything that you need this and if you don't have this you're not successful and if you don't have that imagine your neighbor has it and you're just like oh shit i need to have more i need to have more ah oh no i go crazy i need to have more i have so little once you let go then you realize that you are enough just by being just by breathing being alive makes you super valuable unique and loved that's when you come home in an instance when you realize that you are here to live you are not here to work you can work you can find your purpose you can find your passion and that's the next step but first you need to come home you need to let go of everything that you think that you need to do and once you stop you start seeing oh actually i don't need to do that actually i don't need to do that either and this will go also so and this has to do with the concept of minimalism because the less you have the happier you kind of are because then you only aim to have things that you really use that you really need and that you get joy from but if you have a big house you have a lot of crap and you have just like too much stuff there's so much to clean there's so much stress there's ah it's just overwhelming what if you let go of it and there's a really good documentary on netflix called minimalism or some, something like that and there's a concept this one guy he he packaged up everything he owns in like cardboard boxes and all the things that he needs during the next three months he can get out of there but everything else that he don't use in the next three months has to go and it's crazy how little he needs it's crazy three months it's 90 days so you'd think like yeah he probably uses a lot of his stuff no you don't actually need it and i have experience from that because i i live this like nomadic lifestyle so i don't have a lot and it's so liberating it's so freeing when i know that oh i just have like i have a surf bag i put all my stuff in there i have what i need i have another bag with my laptop and and all the tools that i can work with that's it then i can go oh let's see where should we go next what country should be cool you can see this is where i live at the moment and like anyone can do it and i don't say anyone or everyone should strive for this type but i'm just saying that if you don't like it or if there's constant resistance in your life for the way you live now you can actually choose to to move or to just change something like even if like painting your walls pink if that's your thing or like tearing down a wall and making your space more broad or whatever 
maybe that's the the case or maybe you suggest if you have a family and you have a partner and you're just like hey what if we just started this online thing i've always had a passion for this but i have like this weird thought that i can't do it but now this one guy in this video says that it's possible so what if we just tried what if we kind of step out of this box and we go for the dream what if and what if there's possibilities in the unknown you can't plan it you can't put it into excel you can't make the success plan that you know in 100% security that is going to work. No, that's not the point. The point of building your dream life is to go after it. Take risks. Be, be willing to kind of sacrifice and suffer a bit for what you believe in because when you put yourself into a position that you struggle and that you suffer that's when you actually start knowing if it's something that you want and that's something i've gone through too if you don't put yourself in a difficult situation or a difficult kind of environment how do you know what you've built up and what you actually want to do do you really think that you're gonna reach your dreams when you sit in that cocoon and you're just like yeah maybe i'll change this one small thing and you realize three years goes by and you still haven't done anything major because your whole being your your system everything kind of they go a little bit off those normal habits and then they pull you back it's like and it pulls you back there's a, a energy pulling you your your existence wants you to do the same your ego wants you to keep the same because it's safe and this is like when you think about this safety it wants you to keep on going and you might it lets you go like yeah let's go a little bit out of the comfort zone and then it slowly comes back and then you're just like yeah okay let's stay here the thing that you need to do if you really want to change your life big time you need to break this and then you're in the unknown because you don't actually know what's gonna happen and once you start trusting that in the unknown will come all these things and you can start writing about it journaling about it like manifesting whatever the tools you want to use to kind of create your life but you can never create an exact blueprint of how you're gonna get there because there's gonna be all kinds of roadblocks there's gonna be all kinds of things in your way to reach your dream because it's a test do you really want it and would it really be a dream if you could just get it like this i i doubt it and there's I, I remember one movie i think it's called click or something with adam sandler and he, he got this remote control when he can just like speed up everything and he he kind of just starts going through life and suddenly he realizes shit i'm old and i, I don't even know like what happened what happened with my life and i feel like that that's what happens to a lot of people they they never go out of their comfort zone and then they start thinking like yeah so cool that people are brave and do stuff it's like yeah i wonder what i could have done if i just was brave enough and now the only problem there is that you're not brave enough and how do you become brave enough just choosing to be you're just like fuck it i'm just gonna go for it okay and i don't say that you need to kind of just ruin your life and and fuck up everything that's not the point it's the point that you start believing in the unknown and you start testing okay if there comes up a resistance 
How can you change the situation? What can you do instead? If there's something that you need to do and then the internet goes and, and you're just like, shit, I can't work. Okay, can you work in any other way? Just like I did this video. Can you do something that will take you towards your dreams? Maybe it's the universe kind of showing you the way. Hey, you need to do this to get forward. Maybe this is the thing that you now need in order to get your shit together and just do it and maybe some other people find you. Maybe they need your help. Maybe whatever. As long as you see the opportunity in the unknown. Okay? This was totally an extempore video and uh, I'm super proud you watch till the end and if you ever need any advice in, in how to kind of trusting the unknown I have some guided meditation videos I have other videos on self-awareness because I believe when you become more self-aware you're kind of starting to understand where you want to go in life and that way when you know yourself it's much easier to start trusting the unknown and kind of take bigger risks and i think risk is also a thing that you can gradually start taking bigger and bigger risks and that way you will start gaining trust and you will trust that the the, the unknown process it's actually gonna work and sometimes it doesn't work and then you're just like hmm okay why didn't this work what's what's the thing that i don't see now what is it that I don't understand. And when you start asking these questions, you will start getting forward, okay? So the whole point of this video clearly has been to open your mind up to, to more possibilities because there is magic. There's so many beautiful things that can happen in life that you can't expect. And once you start expecting that beautiful things, luck, abundance, everything joy love whatever you need or want that's when the possibilities open up it's like unlocking the door it's like yeah this this door of abundance it has just been closed now you you lock it and then it might open and it will open it's just a matter of time and and kind of following your your inner voice and and what you actually need and want so Thanks for watching this video. My name is Mitz. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and uh, let's make your life a little bit more enjoyable. Enjoyable, because if we can make it a little bit enjoyable, we can make it a lot more enjoyable. So like this video if you liked it. That being said, peace out, stay cool, have a nice day.